In this video, we'll learn about text animation using Blender's geometry nodes. We'll start a very simple animation and then look at how to create a slightly more complex but more convincing animation. What's interesting is that it's procedural, so we can replace it with any other text. First, let's take a look at the working principle of After Effects text animation engine. After Effects provides properties that can be animated and allows us to animate them in the same way. Let's take a look at how to animate the individual letters position of text. When applied to animate the position value, three submenus will appear under the range select menu. Specify the position of the position to be changed. Use the range selector to specify the range of text to be changed. We can control it more flexibly through starts, end, and offset properties. This time, let's take a look at through Blender's geometry nodes. Apply geometry nodes to the default cube objects. We start with the string to curve node. Disconnect the string socket from the geometry of the group input. Connect to a new input socket. Now, input the string input field and add a field curve node to check the text. By adding a set material node, we'll color the text black. Nodes related to rendering will be sorted separately. The basic settings for text animation are now complete. The first is the effect in which the simplest letters are written. It can be implemented simply as a slice string node. And here is the position animation. Add a set position node, add an index node and connect it to the selection socket. Sequential offset is possible by adding a math node after offsetting the desired position. We can try setting it to sign mode by adding another math node. Scale animation is done by putting a scale instance node at the position of the set position node. The same goes for rotation animation. It is also possible to offset the position and scale at the same time. We can even add rotation. Let's apply it a little more this time. A method of animating text by creating a curve and moving the curve points. First, add a curve line node to control the movement. Let's set the length by 7 on the x-axis. Add a resample curve node to increase the control points. Count is set to 14 according to the numbers of characters, letters. We'll control the position of the points of the curve, so we add a set position node. Since letters are used as instances, an instance on points node is added. It connects nodes. Likewise, animation is possible via the offset value of the set position node. Add and connect index and vector math nodes. I only use the sign function, but if you are good at math, you can add a few more nodes, you will be able to create infinite movements.
From the grease pencil to the geometry nose, Blender is getting more and more exciting. That's it for this video. Thank you for your time.